And, and from my understanding of G-force, the, the higher the G-force you can pass out, you, you can actually go unco unconscious. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a final problem, it's a blackout. That's why, after takeoff, I will increase the G and I will report two, three, four, and I will wait for your answer. Okay. Two, okay, three, continue, four, uh, five. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The briefing was designed to make me feel safer. In truth, I feel much more nervous. I think it's because this is completely the unknown. It's, this is the complete antithesis to what I normally do, a very slow run, running up mountains, a very slow climb, a slow dive. Most things that I do tend to be very, very slow. Please don't vomit, please don't vomit, please don't vomit, please don't vomit. Please don't vomit. We are now moving. Before takeoff, a 10 kilometer safety zone of airspace is closed. The extreme G-forces I'm about to experience are what cause blackouts. Magnified gravity pushes the blood away from the eyes and brain, exhausting them of the oxygen and sugars vital for normal function. Okay, I will be increasing the speed. Okay. What speed are we doing now? Now we have a 400 kilometers per hour and increasing the speed. Okay. Plus two. Yeah. Plus three. Yeah, four, plus, plus three, four. plus four. Yeah. Okay, that's quite fast. Wow. Okay, feeling that black in your wall. Okay, it's good, yeah? Yeah, it went a bit dark. My eyes, it, it all went a little bit dark, to tell you the truth. Is that normal? Yeah. I started to black out at 4G, a point when your body feels four times heavier. The jet can reach an astonishing 8G. So Vladimir wants to push my limit and attempt a complete rotation, otherwise known as the barrel roll. Wow, OK, I'm feeling that. Wow, feeling, really feeling almost, wow. Whoa. That's a very strange feeling. Whoa. Wow. I don't know what happened there. That's almost like I think I did pass out temporarily. That's so weird. Yeah, uh, Ben, it's uh, uh, one more the same. Yeah, I'm a bit nervous about doing this again. To counteract the G-force, Vladimir's told me to tense my core muscles as hard as I can. This should help to stop the blood leaving my brain and going to my feet. Okay, holding in. Come on, Ben. Holding it. Holding it. Holding it. Holding it. Holding it. Oh, man. Damn it. Wow. Oh. Ben, for your information, we have a 5G. 5G. Okay. 5G. This is mental. <laughs> uh. This has confirmed I'm not built for speed. It makes me worry how I'll cope with the Outback car rally. The moves Vladimir is performing are used by frontline combat pilots. I had no idea how physically demanding it could be. It's about to get even worse as we approach the grand finale. OK, it's a uh, one low pass direction of the runway, and after that, a victory roll. May, may I make it back? Yeah. OK. This is the one move Vladimir says will make me sick if anything does skimming 10 metres above the ground before completing a barrel roll whilst in a steep climb, pushing the Gs even higher. We're so low on the ground now. Oh, wow. 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 I don't think I'm made for this. Right. OK, Ben, we are coming down for landing, yeah? Ooh. Wow. 
Wow. That was unbelievable. Considering I was sitting still, I feel absolutely shattered. <gasps> I'm almost shaking. Thank you very much again. You're welcome. Unbelievable.